Good Saturday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Things are not doing too bad in the Mid-South for this morning. We do have, again, a few showers popping up from time to time and more activity expected as we go into the course of the rest of the day. Today we'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so stay tuned with there. Forecast in the bottom section of your screen. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s today. Back in the 60s for the metro area tonight as the winds begin to switch back around to the north late this evening into early tomorrow morning. We'll be talking more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Cough temp decks, it's going to be another hot one out there for today. So numbers back into the mid to upper 80s. Probably something to cool you off would be a good idea. Remember this is exclusively tongue in cheek. So remember that your coffee temperature is your business. If you get a brain freeze, that's your problem. Countdown to autumn. We're looking at less than two weeks to go. 12 days, an hour, and 22 minutes as of the time we record this. So we're almost to the autumn equinox at this point in time. So hopefully getting into some cooler weather into the next several days and weeks, but it's going to take a while before we get there. And as we get closer to the season, we'll continue counting on down to see what goes on. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for further updates on the change in season. Scattered showers across the Mid-South today. Not really seeing a lot of out there for this morning. As a front begins to move on through the area, we have no advisories to talk about for right now. No severe weather to worry about so far, but that could also be changing. So we'll be watching that with a lot of interest. Scattered showers in and around the Mid-South, mainly looking at some activity in and around the Metro, and from areas of western Tennessee down into southeastern Arkansas and across northwestern areas of Mississippi. Could be some more lightning popping up as we go into the rest of the forecast. So something to look at there, and then something else to take a look at for later on today with the old football game coming up. Tim B's webcam at the Weather Underground site from Mineral Wells, Tennessee, just outside of Olive Branch. We have a lot of sunshine and a few clouds coming on through the area there, and the Mississippi River expected to drop a little bit over the next few days. A lot of cloud cover in downtown Memphis, but not enough to get rid of all the sunshine out there. Rhodes College in Memphis, cloud cover and temperature as of the time we record this back in the mid to upper 70s with heat index numbers in the lower 80s. Olive Branch at former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam. A few clouds out there, a little bit of sunshine and some blue skies mixed on through. And sunshine on Lori 38654 webcam on the Weather Underground Network. So a little bit on the sunnier sunshine at the Ole Miss campus track and a few people out and about for the stroll. Game time at the University of Mississippi. Looks like a lot of people out and about to have some fun on a Saturday afternoon. Looking good there. Air quality in Memphis, good for today. Heading for a moderate or yellow category into tomorrow. We'll watch and see how well that pans out. Weather almanac for the UV forecast. UV could be up around 10 today, and depending on how we get into tomorrow with enough sunshine, around another 10 as well. So something to look at if you're going to be outdoors. Don't forget the sunblock. Try to avoid the possibility of getting too much sun out there, and definitely want to try to get as little solar radiation as you possibly can. Now through the we'll talk more about how much sunshine we're going to be looking out for. Temperatures will be moderating by just a little bit. 94 was our high temperature yesterday. Very close to a high of 110 degrees. The hottest temperature in the country yesterday in Death Valley, California. 91, actually 91 our high temperature should be there. 77 the low. Normal of 68 and normal of 87 for a high temperature. We finally finished up our dry days in Memphis. We managed to pick up a fraction of an inch of rain at Memphis International Airport, so our spate of dry days for the month has come to an end. Mid to lower 13 inches of rainfall, 13 and two-thirds inches of rainfall for the year, so we are doing very good on rainfall out there for right now, which means that wildfire danger in the Mid-South remains low, and we have no burn bans to take a look at anywhere across the Mid-South, so good news on that. Moon for today will be setting at 12.31 a.m. Already did set. will be rising again this afternoon at 2.49 p.m. 3.38 p.m. the moon rise tomorrow and will be setting this morning Saturday or Sunday morning at 1.21 a.m. 60% of full. Going to be losing daylight again as we go throughout the rest of the day. 13, 12 hours 34 minutes today. 12 hours 31 minutes as we head into tomorrow. Not seeing again a lot of activity in the way of cool cooler weather at this point in time, but we will see more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Some temperatures in the Mid-South, as you see around Clarksdale, could be hitting around 90 degrees, and those chances of showers and thunderstorms remain in the Mid-South as we go into this afternoon and this evening. Borderline chances of severe weather, but by the time the football game starts at the Southern Heritage Classic, most 
of the rainfall should be gone. Whether or not all of it will be gone, that's kind of an iffy one right there. And then chances of rainfall gone as we head out of Saturday and into Sunday. Winds switch out of the north and temperatures will be very pleasant tomorrow morning. Back into the mid to upper 50s for most of the mid-south. Mid to upper 80s for today with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms. Lower to mid 80s for Sunday. As we look into the rest of the forecast, numbers in the high 80s for Monday. And again, not doing too bad across much of the area throughout the rest of the forecast. Numbers pretty close to normal for this time of the year. So looking at pretty close to no problem at all on the numbers for temperatures. Chances of rainfall gone from tonight onwards through about Thursday. Returning to the area on Friday, continuing on Saturday and Sunday. So we see that potential of rainfall out there. And numbers remain pretty close to where they should be for mid-September out there. One thing we're looking at is the possibility of severe weather. The green shaded category that you see right there indicating the possibility of maybe a marginal threat of severe weather. So that could be again something to watch out for uh, for today. We're going to be watching that with a lot of interest. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 as we go throughout the rest of the day. What we're going to be looking for is the possibility of mainly heavy downpours and also the possibility of seeing some gusty winds into parts of the Mid-South area, mainly from the metro area east in that green shaded category and then through the rest of the day today and into tonight. That'll be the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be on the strong to severe side. Tomorrow night, if it stays clear and looks like it will, 7.40 p.m. and following Cannon Observatory on the Ole Miss campus. Don't forget they'll be having a free open house. If like to discover astronomy, introduce your kids to it. They'll be observing the moon, star clusters, and different nebulae out there, so a great opportunity to learn more. You cannot park in the uh, parking lot there. You'll have to park and walk from the old athletic building. Uh, if you'd like to know more, go to my social media web pages for more. Upcoming Skywarn spotter meetings coming up in the course of the next several days and weeks. WREG.com slash weather for more information on that. And thanking Deborah J54 on Twitter for sending in a nice cloud modeled sunrise from early this morning. If you'd like to send anything in, Aonic underscore WREG3 on on Twitter, tune in for the forecast on the EAB network throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, we'll have a forecast on AM 730 bright and early on Monday morning. Chances of showers and thunderstorms turning severe. Doesn't look like anything immediate right now, but as we go throughout the rest of the day, more possibilities of this stuff may be getting a little bit stronger. Again, we'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so keep it tuned for more on News Channel 3. That'll wrap it up for Saturday morning's edition of News Channel 3 exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more coming up throughout the day and especially this evening on 5, 6, and 10 on News Channel 3 News. And, of course, more coming up tonight and into tomorrow on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting bright and early Sunday morning at 6 a.m. I'm meteorologist. Austin Onik. Questions, concerns, comments, austin.onik at wreg.com. More coming up from News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of Saturday.